Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're well and Cancer, if you are new here, my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? Please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates, leave the rest behind and the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention, that's why they're timeless. That's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the other readings that I've done for your sign. But Cancer, more than anything, please do check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life. Sometimes that happens and it usually means that your messages are just probably coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path or life journey. Or journey life, better said. Last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. All right, Cancer. Okay. Let's get started. Cancer, you've got the Three of Pentacles as the starting energy of your reading or the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Cancer, right off the bat, I get this a lot lately. The Three of Pentacles is the way I feel it. You know, usually it works about, it talks about working together with other individuals, uh, cooperate, cooperating, um, But uh, I feel that some of you have been in a situation or in a place or environment where you just no longer feel that you're part of it, okay? Because this always talks about work, working together, working in a group, but you've been in an environment where you just don't feel like you're part of this group or place anymore, okay? I think you're tired. Um, I think some of you feel might be feeling a little limited, especially if you're dealing probably with a job environment, you know, maybe they don't allow you to do things the way you're meant to do them, you know, um, I think you have to stick by some rules, very strict rules, and you're just, you know, I think you're done with that, and I think you're meant to shine somewhere else, okay? And if it's not a job, it's just any other type of situation. It could be a relationship or whatever. But I just, I think, I think you don't feel like you're part of it anymore. Okay? The energy that's crossing, it could be a challenge or a blockage. It's the Six of Pentacles. This talks about equal give and take. Um, things being balanced. Okay? But since this is the blockage or the challenge, I guess, you know, the situation. Well, I guess you feel this way. You feel that things are not, you know, maybe, maybe you're not getting paid enough for the type of work that you're doing. Okay. Maybe some of you have been expecting for a race or something to change or improve and it hasn't happened. And I think, uh, I think you're growing tired of this place or situation. Okay. So yeah, just, well, maybe you are in some type of teamwork, but you just don't feel like you're part of that team anymore, okay? Okay, the energy is crowning you, conscious mind, you are aware of this, and it's constantly, you're constantly thinking about it. And I like this. It's very beautiful. It's a high priestess, Piscean energy. Cancer, I think you are aware that you are meant to shine somewhere else, really. You know you have some type of divine powers, you know, some very powerful spiritual knowledge. You are awakening to some type of reality, 
And you are aware of this, maybe? Maybe maybe for some of you, you are awakening from the ma matrix, okay? Maybe you're understanding that you have been in an environment that has just been, you know, keeping you just sedate in a sedative uh, state. What can I speak today? Sedated or sed sedated. <laughs> well, numb. Okay, let's just leave it that way. For some reason, I cannot pronounce certain words lately. Sedated. That would be it. Um, you're weakening from, to, to this reality. It's as if, you know, maybe the environment, maybe even society, you don't feel like you're part of society anymore. You don't want to be part of the society anymore. You want to change things. Maybe some of you want to break some rules and go solo, you know, it's okay to break rules. Just keep them, you know, just keep them healthy. Okay. Um, some of you might want to quit your job and start working at home, something like that. And if not, you know, like I said, it could be a relationship. You're just, you know, you're, you're awakening to some type of, type of truth. Maybe you know that you're meant to something more, maybe even more divine, you know? Hmm. Below you, subconscious mind, you're not aware of this, and you should. Divine wants you to focus more on this, or they want you to pay more attention to this. Your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, are telling you, King of Wands, strong fire, masculine energy, it doesn't matter what gender you are. It's time for you to take action. If you're tired of something, it's time for you to then stand up. You look at that posture, look at that body language. He's about to stand up. I think he's had enough of something, right? It's time for you to, to just make a decision, take the action and do something about it. Okay. You are being protected even from your own, if you want to call them failures, I wouldn't call them failures necessarily, but mistakes, whatever. You've got the salamander there on the floor, salamanders on his cloak, and a salamander here in the back with the lions. That's divine protection against fire. That's protection, a spiritual protection against fire of not getting burnt. Whatever decision or action that you take, I think you are protected. Okay. I'm not saying that's going to be easy. No, it's not. It's nothing's easy. And it's not meant to be easy. If it's not easy and there's resistance, it might mean that you are on the right track. But just persevere and keep going. going. Do whatever you think has to be done. Okay. But cancer, you are awakening, you are ascending. Some of you are literally having a spiritual awakening and maybe you are aware of that, okay? But you know you're not part of this environment anymore. It can even be a family situation, okay? Take it as the best resonates for you. Now the energy that's behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, what you are leaving behind, should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through this, the Nine of Swords. Cancer, you meant to stop stressing about things. Okay. Stop complicating things. Stop overthinking things. Some of you have been in this already for too long because you've been putting up with something for too long. And now it's time to, well, I guess to do something about this. Okay. So yeah, you're meant to leave the stress, anxiety behind. Some of you have been stressing on how to 
how to do this, how to leave this behind, how to walk out, okay? But you're meant to stop stressing about it or whatever. You're meant to get some type of clarity. Try to rest, meditate, find some time to put your mind in peace, to quiet down those inner voices. Okay? So you can get a better... Well, you can get a clear decision on what you want to do here. Okay? But stop stressing. In front of you, where you're headed to, what's coming towards you, where you're meant to go, in your near future, Nine of Cups, you have to make yourself a priority here. You see, stop stressing about things. If you're not happy where you're at, if you feel like you're not part of it, then it's time for you to make yourself a priority and start doing things for your own self. Good. Everybody always wants a Ten of Cups, but you can't get to the Ten of Cups if you're not in the Nine of Cup energy first. So this is about first putting yourself first. Sorry about the redundancy. Okay. But yeah, you have to make, you know, put yourself first. Make yourself a priority here. It's all about you and what makes you happy, Cancer. Okay? You don't have to stay in a place and, and put up with something that you don't want to put up with anymore. I don't think you're even performing. I think even your performance could have been affected by now. Maybe you are performing poorly. Or just you're not just doing your magic the way you're meant to. I think you know who you are. I think some of you are understanding or are starting to understand that. Who you are, what you're meant to do. Okay? This is why it's time to do something about it. Okay? Very passionate, creative, fearless, very bold, very decisive, okay? That's what you have to do. Cancer, this is how you should see yourself or respond to the situation. Six of Wands. I just did Gemini's reading and they also have this in the same position. Count your blessings, okay? Count your success, stories, whatever, wherever you've had that achievements and focus on your, on your future achievements. Okay. Some of you don't give yourself the proper recognition for what you really are capable of doing. It's time for you to do that. Maybe that's what's going to help you finally take the, well, to take that final decision and understanding, well, you know what? I am too damn good to stay in this situation for this, you know? I'm too damn good for this. It's, it's time for me to, to make myself a priority and move on, okay? Self-recognition. Go after your success. Go after what will make you happy. Some people will not be happy. Well, tough shit. The energy that's surrounding you, it's influencing, it's inspiring, it's death card, Scorpio energy. Cancer, go with the flow of things. If you have to put an ending to something, show no mercy. I think you are tired of something already, okay? And just keep moving. Show no mercy. You're meant to have a new beginning. This is a transformation within you. This is also why it's surrounding you. It's influencing you. There's something deep within you that's changing you. It's an ending. It's a change for a new beginning. Okay? Go with the flow of things and don't fear. Don't fear the changes, don't fear 
whatever has to happen. This is in your hopes and fears, see these pinnacles. Yeah, you really want a new beginning, something more stable, more promising, maybe even tangible. You know, it can be financial, it can be your health, it can be your stability, whatever. But you really want this. You're ready for new, a new beginning. You're ready for a fresh new start. And I don't see why you shouldn't have this, you know. You just have to give yourself a proper credit to see who you are. Trust yourself. Okay. Trust in the divine. Understand that you are protected. And I think everything will be fine. But you have to take action. Don't stay in a place where you are not. Valued. Appreciated. Okay. There's no equal give and take here. Some of you have been investing a lot of time and energy in a situation that has not given you much in return. It's pretty much the same energy. You've been in a place where you're not meant to be in anymore. The outcome or the advice is the Ten of Cups. You want this. You want to be that full happiness. I told you, everybody wants this. First focus on you. Once you do that, once you make yourself a priority and you understand that you are in a situation where you're not meant to be and you start moving that's why it's about that transformation something that you're starting to see within yourself this is really deep reading cancer you some of you are really going through some heavy duty stuff here and it's good You will be happy, you will achieve this rainbow at the end of the storm. You will you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You and maybe even those who you truly love that are there for you, with those who there is equal give and take, equal energy. Reciprocal. Okay? Maybe it's not that many, but it's someone. But you will have this Ten of Cup energy. You will achieve this Ten of Cup energy. But not in the situation where you're at. You have to get yourself out of this, make yourself a priority, and then everything will start changing. Okay? Bottom of the deck, the three cards, judgment, it's time. Come on. You, oh, yeah. You, you're feeling this calling. You're meant to answer. It's time for you to leave something behind. You see how they're leaving their tombs? They're, they're stepping out of their tombs? They have outgrown something. They're not meant to stay where they're at. Same thing with you. Five of Cups. Stop thinking on the negative side of things. Okay? It's time for you to turn around and see what other opportunities you have. Something better for you. But stop, stop focusing on the losses, on what has been lost, on how things have turned out. You're not happy with how things have manifested. But you, it's okay. But don't stay just there staring at it. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, it's that energy, it's that dark energy. You're not meant to stay in that environment, place, situation. Seven of Pentacles. Six, it's that, it's, oh, okay. Oh, I get a lot of messages here, okay. First of all, stop feeding your energy to something that doesn't give you anything in return, okay. Stop giving your time, your, your, your effort, your energy, okay, on anything that doesn't give you anything in return. It's no equal give and take in the situation. Also, please, don't be hard on yourself uh, about the time an energy that you have, you waste, waste it, okay, it's not really wasted, it's a life lesson, okay, but just stop wasting time, okay, it's time.
that's what you're not meant to do. Just stop wasting time. Okay? I think you already learned your lesson. That's that's why you are you are awakening. You're starting to see things in a different way. Okay? All right, Cancer. Let's just get additional messages from this other deck. In case I miss something, just additional messages, advice, or warnings. I always like to do this. It's an extra bonus. Just helps us get a little more clarity. And now let's close the reading with the Woodland Warden's Oracle. Deck. Okay. Transformation ending. It's time for an ending, it's time for a change and for a new beginning. What other messages do you have for cancer regarding this reading, please? If there's something else they need to know, what would it be, please? Anything else for cancer? Thank you. What else? Anything else for cancer? One, just one more maybe? Okay. Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck. Will, you know, things are trying to spin in your favor. Take advantage of this opportunity. The card flew out, it flew right next to the other one. Right. Yeah. Judgment. The time is now. Please. Okay. Like I said, don't waste any more time. Okay. Got three cards that flew out. Okay, there's your Ten of Cups again, confirming. Yes, you're gonna get to that Ten of Cup of energy, but you still, you have to go through this roadmap. Okay? You will achieve this beautiful Ten of Cup energy that everybody always wants. But not until you make yourself a priority. Okay? You can't get there without doing this work. Knight of Swords, it's time to move freely. Freedom. Breaking free. And there's your race of wants, a new passion at the beginning. Always remember that whatever you do, be passionate. Do things that excite you, that turn you on, literally. I mean, that's why it's phallic symbol. I mean, okay, what's that excitement? Do things that excite you and turn you on. Okay? But, uh, yeah. It's time. It's a huge awakening for some of you. And that's nice. Let's close your reading with the Woodland Warren's Oracle deck. Whatever message comes out, it doesn't have to be related or correlated with the reading in any way, shape, or form. But just take it as additional advice or message. It might help you, guide you, somehow, at some point, later, down the road. All right, Cancer. Cancer, you have the Hound and the Pair, which means loyalty. Okay? It's also about being too loyal to yourself, right? Number 23. Yeah. Loyalty. It says, The Hound is the ultimate symbol of loyalty and friendship. Stories about abound in folklore and throughout history of dogs protecting their companions, saving children, and alerting their masters to danger. The legend of St. Guinefort is one such story. This 13th century French greyhound saved his owner's infant son from an attack by a viper. When the owner came upon the scene, he found Guinefort with bloody jaws, sitting beside the empty cradle. Believing the hound to be the murderer, the owner killed Guinefort. 
Only later, when he heard his son's cries and discovered him beneath the cradle next to the dead snake, did he realize his tragic mistake. Like the faithful hound, the pair is a symbol of care and affection. Often given as a gift, it is sweet but easily bruised, requiring tenderness from its handler. In the upright position, it says that a friendship is flourishing, your kindness and loyalty have been noted, and your friend appreciates you. In the reverse, it says that you may be harshly or irrationally judging those closest to you, while you might feel undeserving of kindness or friendship. This life is too difficult to face alone. Accept companionship and avoid lashing out at those who care for you. Two questions you have to ask yourself is, am I loyal to my friends? I think you also have to think about, are you loyal to yourself, right? And how can I improve my friendships so that my companions feel loved and appreciated? Okay. Well, Cancer, I hope that message resonates for you somehow. But more than anything, I hope this reading does help you and gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And uh, if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And Cancer, uh, as usual, I hope to see you next time and please do stay safe. Be happy and stay very blessed. Goodbye.